My biggest grievance with this movie is the name Ride or Die. The previous movie was called Bad Boys for Life. It was right there. Bad Boys for Life. But instead it went with Ride or Die. This just... It makes me mad retrospectively. Such a missed opportunity. It was right there. Ugh. There'll be no spoilers in this video. When I saw this scene in Bad Boys 1, I thought to myself, Go. Titty, titty, strutty, strutty. This, this, walks, this ain't no ass. goddamn Denny's or eating in my... I wouldn't be buying no shit from Denny's anyway. I don't like the way... We... Yeah, you ain't interested in the damn fry. You all up in that. Get out of the car, man. You have got my attention for the next... 30, 35, 40 years. No more than that. It's pretty damn impressive that the Bad Boys series slash franchise has been relevant for the past 30 years. Bad Boys Ride or Die might just be the perfect ending to the Bad Boys series, well also depending on the box office takings. Though this film might be predictable in a few ways, it's not a deal breaker at all, because if you've watched the other Bad Boys movies and loved them, then you will also love this one. It delivers on fun and is action-packed to the brim. So it delivers on what's usually expected for the Bad Boys movies and there is a bit of consideration to the aging characters because Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, they're not spring chickens. They're getting old. And that means I'm getting old. And that annoys me. Actually, I don't mind getting old, but still though. Unlike the first three movies which were directed by Michael Bay, Bad Boys 3 and 4 were directed by Adil and Bilal, the director duos. They just don't direct without each other, that's their thing. However, it still has that Bayham DNA in it. They really preserve the stylistic efforts of Michael Bay. Whilst injecting their own stylistic flair, those cameras were doing a fair amount of spinning around the characters which is so nostalgic but might be annoying for some. Bad Boys Ride or Die is a 2024 American body cup action comedy film starring Will Smith and Martin Lawrence in the fourth installment of the Bad Boys film series, the sequel to Bad Boys for Life 2020. And with that said, here is the plot followed by the pros and cons. Detectives Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett investigate corruption within the Miami Police Department when their late captain Conrad Howard is posthumously accused of being involved with the Romanian Mafia, but a setup turns them into fugitives, forcing them to work outside the law in order to solve the case. And now for the pros and cons, starting with cons. Con number one. Yes, the plot is predictable, however, it's not a deal breaker at all. Con number two. Mike Lowry drives like an asshole. He should have his license revoked. No one should be driving like that for no goddamn reason. And he's off duty as well. Con number three. Mike Lowry has this character arc that is, it's all well and good, but I found it a little bit boring because I am used to the previous Mike Larry and he ain't like that anymore. He's a little bit more reserved now. But it's not a deal breaker. Con number four. It has too many convenient moments that move the plot along, which is fine. But of course. And now for the pros. Pro number one. Martin Lawrence was the MVP in this movie. He was the strongest character and if there's any reasons to watch this movie, I think he would be number one. His comedic timing was amazing as usual. Pro number two. The action was fantastic as well. It had a lot of stylistic camera angles to enhance the chaotic sequences. It was not boring at all. Pro number three. Reggie. Do you guys remember Reggie? Reggie from part two? Who the fuck are you? I'm Mr. Burnett. I'm Reggie. What you doing here? I came to take out Megan. What? I came to take out Megan. How old are you? I'm 15, Mr. Burnett. Motherfucker, you look 30. Well, Reggie had a strong three minutes that blew my damn mind. I was absolutely satisfied and immensely surprised at the same time. Is that Reggie? As a matter of fact, Reggie was so good, I was a little bit worried about him. And also worried about everyone around Reggie. Pro number four. Everyone in this movie looked like they had fun and it was showing on screen as well, especially between Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. And of course, they've been doing this for the past 30 years, so it makes sense. Had my soulmates. No. I saw my soulmate looking different than that. You're stuck in the physical. Souls don't have dicks. I'm pretty sure my soul has a dick, Marcus. Pro number five. Even though I said Mike Lowry's character arc is boring, I still think 
the character arc for Marcus and Mike is quite age appropriate and very believable. Of course, people will change over time, so it makes absolute sense. And I like that the director and writers captured that. Pro number six. It was really cool to see the character arc between Mike Lowry and his estranged son from the previous movie, his murderous estranged son. It was quite weirdly cathartic and also at the same time weird. And uh, the sequence was a little bit rushed as well. The whole relationship was kind of rushed, but I'm glad it was in there anyway. Pro number seven. There is no end scene. There is no suggestion there's going to be a Bad Boys 5. And I think that's a good thing because it was neatly wrapped up and they should keep it that way. Well, unless the box office is really good, then they might consider something, but I hope they don't. But if they do, I will watch it anyway. I'm going to rate this movie an 8 out of 10 because I've been watching these Bad Boys movies since I was a kid and they haven't disappointed me yet. They've always just been a lot of fun. This movie is entertaining and action-packed. It's not going to win any Oscars. It's designed to entertain and it delivered on said entertainment and that's all you could ask of it. I definitely recommend this movie. And also, if you've seen the other Bad Boys movies, you might as well finish up strong. Are you a ride or die or not? And for another fun, entertaining movie, watch this video.